Aries, how's it going? It's Robin here with Aries Fire Tarot. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys, for your love reading. I'm going to do singles first and couples second. Uh, I'll be using the Gilded Tarot deck for this reading, you guys. So uh, let me know how you're doing in the comments while I shuffle. You could take a second to subscribe to the channel while I shuffle the deck for you guys. Yeah, let me know how you are. Um, I'm always in a good mood when I shuffle the cards to do readings. Like I, I never touch tarot cards if I'm having a bad day because that just doesn't vibe for me. So um, I'm doing great and I just want to turn out a really nice reading for singles first and couples after. So let me do a quick deck cut and one more shuffle and we'll just see what the cards have to say for Aries singles. One more little shuffle here, guys. Thanks for your patience. I know what it's like to be like a in a hurry Aries, so. I've got the hanged man here. Hey guys, this is a sign to change your perspective on something. Like my mind is going all over the place when I see this card. It's like some people could have given up on ever finding love again. You might wanna change your perspective on that. Some people might need to change their perspective on an ex. Hmm, that's really interesting. I mean, who wants to get back with their ex? Let me know in the comments. Okay, let's pull some more cards like right on the hanging man because I want to see what's going on with that. Got the Knight of Cups, you guys. The Knight of Cups is a romantic invitation. So I think for some of you, you're going to have this first instinct of wanting to say no or not reply when somebody reaches out to you or you're going to feel suspicious. So you're going to have to sort of tone that down a little bit like this wary attitude because the only way you're going to find out about a person is if you say yes to them. So you guys could end up really having a really good time here. We've got the um, I want to celebrate stuff card. And this is just a, a great indication of, you know, obviously having a good time together. Things are going to work out really well. So I don't know why you would say no to this person right away. Could be that they're not actually your type. You know, I think we all have a like a favorite type of person, but you just have to remember that, you know, the universe doesn't always manifest things exactly the way that you want them to be. So, you know, your type could be somebody completely different than the person that is carrying your soulmate, right? Because the body is only a vehicle and it's the, the heart and soul that you're interested in, the mind. You know, the body, okay, you know, it'd be nice if it was perfect. Um, I really don't know anybody with a perfect body, myself included. So um, just be open to people that might be outside your typical type. Okay, let's pull a couple more cards. Got the strength card. I'm seeing like really strong fire sign match here. You know, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, really strong in the strength card. Definitely, you, you can see a big Leo here. Leo the lion could be a match coming in. Somebody that's going to be really strong anyway. Um, because we've got the strength card here. And I think, Aries, you need a strong person to be your match. I don't think you could really respect anybody that you consider to be weak, right? Um... Am I right, Aries? Shout out in the comments. Yeah, you've definitely got something new. And by something, I mean somebody. Like someone new on the horizon. I'm seeing like really, really soon. I'm seeing within 28 to 38 days. I know that sounds like a really random number, but I just got the, these numbers popped into my head by spirit. So I just blurt them out. Let's get one more card. Five of Swords. I think this is why you guys are really 
reluctant to start dating again. I see that, you know, love was definitely a battlefield in your past. Um, like you barely, like emotionally made it out alive. You know what I'm saying? I think you got really, um, why am I seeing attacked here? You know what I mean? It could be on any level. I think, you know, it could be physical for some, emotional, intellectual. There's so many different kinds of abuse. And like underneath sort of a hard shell, Aries are so sweet and patient and they, they can really, really, really take a lot. And then one day they're just done, you know, and it comes as a, as a surprise so to everybody. So I think that, you know, the ex person in your life really stressed you quite a bit. I think that you have been single, a lot of you for a long time. Um, and now you're just sort of super picky about who you're going to date. But if you keep on saying no to everybody, how are you supposed to get into a relationship, right? So, I mean, go on some dates or start talking to some people. Let me pull one more card. Let me shuffle quickly again. Unbelievable. Like just ham fisted sometimes like you wouldn't believe. Okay, one more shuffle. I just want to do one more card for Aries. Okay, there it is. She's got the moon here. So you guys are going to have to start trusting your intuition a little bit. Um, instead of letting your, you know, your spidey senses like raise your hackles, you know, how a, a cat arches its back at the slightest little thing. Like, uh, I think you're like really just prepared to be provoked by people. So quiet all that down and use your intuition. You can trust your gut. I mean, the person that you were with before that um, rip you, ripped you to shreds, you probably had warning bells about them, but you're like, oh, they're just so hot, you know? So you went for it anyway. So you know, you can trust your gut, like your higher self is, that is your gut. Your higher self can see things way ahead of you. So you can ask, you can ask the angels, is this person right? You can, you know, ask, ask the, the higher realm to guide you and just be open a little bit. You know, you deserve some fun. I think there's been a bit of a, like a self-imposed dry spell. So Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to do a quick couples reading after this, so I'm going to mark the time and move on. But otherwise, I hope you really, really enjoyed the reading, and I hope it was helpful. So take care, you guys, and we'll talk to you really soon. Okay, bye for now. Bye. Hey, Aries couples, how's it going? Um, it's Robin here, and I'm going to pull a few cards for your relationship reading. Um just do three or four cards because you guys already know that you're in a relationship so I don't have to make any sort of prediction for you when you might meet somebody or anything like that so um let me just reshuffle the gilded tarot deck which is the deck I'm using for the love readings you guys can let me know how you're doing in the comments while I'm shuffling or you could quickly tap the subscribe button while I'm shuffling Subscribing really helps me out on the channel, so I super duper appreciate it. I'll do a fast deck cut here, and then we'll get going with your cards. This is an interesting card for couples. This is the Eight of Cups. I feel like some of you um, may feel like you're done with your current situation. You're giving it some serious contemplation. Very interesting. Very interesting. And that, you know, I, I was just saying in the singles reading that it takes a long time for an Aries to lose their patience. So um, to see some of your energy in this situation, I think you've probably already been through a lot and you're kind of looking into the future. Either that or you guys ha are done and you want to move on from where you live or, you know, it could be like you're, you're done with a few different things. So general reading so let me um, refresh the deck here okay okay one sec what's happening here 
Got the Seven of Swords. I definitely feel like you guys are, you're having a hard time right now. This is what I'm seeing in the cards. It's like, I don't think you feel like you're getting enough out of the relationship. I think the other person in your relationship is, I think you're doing more. Um, you feel like they're doing less and you're picking up the slack. That's definitely what I'm seeing in the cards. But I do think that's going to change for you guys. We've got the Eight of Wands here. So this is an indication of a fast-moving energy. And I think this existing energy of the, um, like, basically feeling used, right? And feeling like the housemaid, guy or gal, whatever. Um, it's going to come to an end. I think your partner is going to snap to their senses and realize, wow, I'm kind of being a, you know, a jerk or whatever and not giving you enough credit. That's going to change, which is nice because I think you deserve it because... Um, Aries, I find are really, really giving. So just like kind of a people pleaser and for you to be in a position where you're kind of like, I'm so done. I know that you've probably like put in so much effort before you get there. And I think you've got literally one foot out the door, but something's going to change and your partner's going to do something amazing to change your mind. Um, they're going to redeem themselves actually. So and I just saw angel numbers 1133. If you guys are into that, after the reading, you could go ahead and check that out. Um, angel numbers 1133. I use Sacred Scribe for angel numbers. That's my favorite. And then we've got the Six of Wands here, you guys. So you're definitely moving into a period of... This is related to winning and victory and just everything turning out really well and feeling supported and... You know just doing awesome you know so this is a great card if you guys are having any kind of issue right now i just really see it resolving for you and everything's going to be cool i think it was probably a little bit extra painful than you wanted it to be uh stressed you out but i just see a really big change coming um and everything turning out cool so I hope this was a helpful reading to you, Aries, if you're in a relationship. And let me know in the comments what you think. And I'm going to wrap up the video for now. And I'll see you back here next time. Bye for now. Bye.